More than 2,000 people have shelled out more than $22,000 for a Starbucks employee who on Monday refused to serve a woman who wasn't wearing a face mask to the San Diego shop where works. The customer, identified as Amber Lynn Giles, took a photograph of Lennon Gutierrez and shared it on Facebook, along with a complaint about him. Next time I will wait for cops and bring a medical exemption, she wrote. The post has been shared some 47,000 times and has amassed over 133,000 comments as of Thursday, and Giles had been dubbed San Diego Karen. Despite the criticism heaped on her, Giles doubled down, saying, masks are stupid and so are the people wearing them. On May 1, San Diego County mandated the use of face masks in public settings because the coronavirus spreads via droplets from an infected person's coughs, speech, or sneezes, and research shows that masks help to curb the rate of spread of the disease. The coverings help prevent the spread of COVID-19 and are part of our path to reopening San Diego, officials wrote in an online notice. As of Thursday, 196,046 people in California have tested positive for COVID-19 and 5, 726 have died, according to data compiled by Johns Hopkins University. The state's outbreak is now second only to New York's. Cloth masks, homemade face coverings, bandanas, scarves, or neck gaiters are necessary when people in San Diego County are waiting in line to enter a shop, inside a business, using public transit, picking up to-go orders, getting medical help, or working any type of essential job. Matt Cowan began a GoFundMe campaign to tip Gutierrez for standing his ground when faced with a Karen in the wild. It's already raised more than $22,000. Cowan told local ABC affiliate KGTV that donors are rallying around somebody for doing what they're supposed to do and trying to protect everyone else. It just goes to show you there are a lot of good people out there and that outweighs the bad. Meanwhile, Gutierrez posted a video on Facebook on Tuesday in which he said that it's been shocking to see an encounter that lasted only a few minutes get so big. He described working on the front register on June 22 and asking Giles if she had a face mask. She said she didn't, but before he could show her a sheet of paper that described the guidelines Starbucks was following, she flipped me off and said, no, I don't need one, and she started cursing up a storm, he said. Giles stormed out of the shop, only to return and ask for Gutierrez's name and take a picture of him. She also threatened to call, corporate, he said, before leaving and not returning. A silver lining to the encounter has been the unexpected but amazing outpouring of support, which, Gutierrez said, will help him pursue his dream of becoming a dancer and sharing the art form with others. With this donation, I can make these dreams a reality.